Hey guys, so I'm here today. I'm going to be opening my Sephora Play. You guys know this is my favorite subscription. It is $10 a month. Sephora Play is the only subscription box I have right now. Let's open it. Oh, okay. So the theme is, I think, like, healthy or something. Here's a little play pass you get. You get 50 extra beauty insider points when you purchase something. Sometimes you don't have to. It just depends on what Sephora you have. And you'll get 50 extra beauty insider points with a purchase or not a purchase. Oh, the bags are really pretty blue. So let's get open in. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, yes! Just fell out. Oh my god, guys, I wanted to try this so bad. And I had to go to the mall to get a sample, but now I don't have to. I wanted to try it because I had like this $10 off 30 coupon from Smashbox for Ulta. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I'm actually super excited for this because, like I've said in a few other videos, my skin has been getting pretty dry over the winter time. And I'm just so excited to use this. It's kind of weird packaging because, like, it's just open at the top. But I'm so excited to try this and use it because if I like it, I definitely will buy a full size. The next thing I have is the Briorgio Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Masks. I have got this one time and I used it. I didn't notice anything big, big that happened to my hair, but I'm going to try it again and see. So I feel like with hair products, you know right away if you like it or not. The next thing I have is the Clinique Pep Star Eye Cream. This would be really nice to bring on a trip. As I can see through the light, it's literally half full. That's the problem sometimes with subscription boxes, you don't get full amount of the product in here, which is kind of sad because I mean this probably could have been full and it would be fine, but I definitely will bring this on trip so I don't have to bring my big one. And granted, eye primers usually aren't that big anyway. The next thing I have is the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. This will be nice to try. I have been breaking out lately and this would be nice because this does look full. Yes! But... This would be nice to use because I have been breaking out lately and I love Glam Glow. It's the Anastasia Lip Gloss. I wish it wasn't the gloss and it was just like the cream formula, but it would be nice to try. And it's a really pretty color. It's in Kristen and let's swatch it. So it is a little sticky, So, but it's very pigmented for a lip gloss. So I definitely will try this and see. I am interested in getting that little trio they came out with. And lastly, we got the Fresh Rose Floral Toner. Ooh, this is nice. I've been really kind of getting into more skincare and want to do more toners and stuff. But I haven't found a really great one. We need to get a perfume sample in here. So maybe they are stopping doing this because this is the first one of the month. It's the January box. So maybe they're not even going to put a perfume sample in it anymore. I wouldn't really be mad about that. Typically, I don't usually use them. And then this is the Rose Floral Toner. This would be super nice to use and try out to see if I like it. That would be nice if they keep putting more fresh products in here because they have really great products. And like, it's like an open thing, so just be careful if you do get this. To use a cotton pad and put it like directly on there, don't just let it pour out because it will all come out. But yes, overall, I think this array of products for January's box was pretty great. I would rate it about a... Three, I think, because I'm super excited about these three products. This would be a great product, too, if it's not too sticky or whatever. But it is a pretty color, so give them credit for that. And I've used this, and it was good. And it just kind of sucks that it's halfway full. And I've used it, and nothing has really, like, happened immensely that I would want to purchase this and use it constantly. But this would be nice to travel with. So overall, I'm really happy with the box. I just don't think it's the best, best one. But I'm super excited about these three products, which I rated a 3 or 4 out of 5. So I think it was a really great box, and I'm super excited to see what they bring in for 2018 in the Sephora Play Boxes. Comment below if you get the Sephora Play Box and what you got, because I'd like to know. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys!